bizarre ears of birds. To the terrifying jaws of the goblin shark, here are 12 of the weirdest animal body features. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. Number 12. Blind cave fish are a form of Mexican tetra, which are found in the Rio Grande and Picos rivers of Texas and in parts of eastern and central Mexico. This is one of many animals that have evolved in dark environments, leaving them with rudimentary sight or no eyes at all. But the creatures are still able to navigate the waters by using their lateral lines, a system of sense organs that help aquatic invertebrates detect vibration and movement in the surrounding water. That can warn them to flee when predators approach. Originating in Africa, Ankoli Watusi are considered medium-sized cattle, weighing between 900 to 1600 pounds. But there's nothing medium-sized about their horns. They are huge. They can reach up to 8 feet from tip to tip. Experts say they're used for self-defense. These animals have served as food and currency among African tribes. Tribal status was also connected with the animals. Cattle with the largest horns were claimed by the king and considered sacred. The breed is often referred to as the cattle of kings. Mammals are normally known to have two eyes, but a goat in southern India was born with three eyes, and village locals are worshipping it as a god. The calf exhibited the extra organ in the middle of its head, and that invited comparisons to the god Shiva, with some believing that the animal is the living incarnation of that deity. Reports indicated that the village has been inundated with visitors intent on seeing the calf. Well, the goat seems unfazed by all the attention, even though villagers consider it a miracle that will bring them good luck. Did you know Shiva is a principal deity in Hinduism? It's said when he loses his temper, his third eye opens to incinerate things. Moles are well known as subterranean creatures. They're essentially built for burrowing. Their powerful forelimbs have huge paws that are adapted for digging. But did you know the animals have a form of polydactyly? That is, their paws contain an extra digit. But researchers have found that what appears to be an extra thumb is actually an extended wrist bone. The bone found on its wrist grows parallel to the inner thumb. The outer appendage is sickle-shaped and develops after the rest of the mole's fingers and thumb. Researchers say the extra digit makes the animal's palm area wider, enabling it to burrow more efficiently. The palm is made more rigid by the solid bone on the outside edge, enabling it to wiggle without bending. Like all arthropods, arachnids have an exoskeleton. While arachnids like spiders have that tough armor, how do they manage to have a sense of touch? Well, they have fine sensory hairs on the bodies that fulfill that function. Slit syncilla is a group of slit-like sensory organs in the exoskeleton that can detect physical strain related to the forces the creature might experience. The small slits allow the arachnids to better experience the world around them, and experts think these organs might be involved with the animal's hearing. Now, there's nothing overtly weird about kangaroo legs, if they're attached to a kangaroo. But the Gobi jerboa has legs that are uniquely similar to those animals, but they're about the size of a mouse. The species is also noted for its unusually large ears, and they're sometimes referred to as the Mickey Mouse of the desert. Those roux-like legs allow it to jump a meter into the air and spring away from many predators. The nocturnal rodent was first photographed in the Gobi Desert in 2008. Hippos are native to Africa, and they are the third largest land mammals after the elephant and the rhino, known to average nearly 3,000 pounds. A creature that massive wouldn't seem to sweat the small stuff, right? But when it does sweat, the hippo can secrete a reddish liquid referred to as blood sweat. In truth, the secretion is neither. It's comprised of red and orange pigments. The liquid starts off red and then turns brown. It works as a sunscreen, absorbing ultraviolet light. And because it's acidic, it effectively inhibits the growth of bacteria. Because all hippos have been documented to release this secretion, experts think it's something the animal develops internally and not the result of consuming certain foods. 
The platypus holds a number of distinctions. It's one of the world's few venomous mammals, it's one of five extant mammal species that lays eggs, and it's also one of the world's oddest animal mashups. That duck-like bill is a prominent feature, but it's not there just for show. In addition to those other distinctions, did you know the platypus is one of the few mammals to use electroreception? They can zero in on prey by detecting the electric fields generated by muscle contractions. Their bills contain electroreceptors, in addition to mechanoreceptors, which can detect touch. Experts think the animal uses its electroreceptors to gauge fluctuations in signal strength to determine the direction of an electrical source. The animal relies on electroreception for its feeding because when it dives, the platypus closes its ears, eyes, and nose. Researchers think the animals evolved this ability to forage in murky waters as a compensation for the tooth loss. The Texas Horned Lizard is found from Texas to northern Mexico, among various locations. And despite their fearsome appearance, they're known to be relatively docile creatures. Their coloration usually offers enough camouflage to escape predators. But when threatened, these lizards employ a unique and rather disgusting defense mechanism. They shoot predators with their blood and fire it from their eye. Experts say the critter's blood tastes so foul that it usually works to discourage an attacker. It exerts pressure on the sinus cavity, causing blood vessels in the eye to burst, and that enables the lizard to shoot a steady stream of gore from the corners of its eyes at a distance up to five feet. Goblin sharks are a rare species of deep sea shark, sometimes referred to as a living fossil. That's because the animals belong to a lineage dating back some 125 million years. Some fishermen off the coast of New South Wales captured one of the creatures in 2015. While they can grow to 20 feet long, this particular specimen was estimated at 3 to 4 years old and measured about 1.2 meters. In the photos, you can make out the creature's fierce appearance, particularly the mouth that is large relative to the animal size. It's filled with razor-sharp, nail-like teeth, and the creature's entire upper jaw can be dropped and protruded forward, essentially popping out of its face to capture prey. The frightening effect has been likened to the xenomorph in the movie Alien. Fishermen who caught the creature in New South Wales say they weren't phased by its bizarre appearance, but then again, this was a smaller specimen. The shark was sent to the Australian Museum in Sydney to be put on display. Have you ever wondered how birds can hear? A crow handler named Ollie Pekar, and I hope I got that name right, posted images of what a bird's ear looks like underneath its feathers. Unlike humans, birds don't have external ears, and while they do possess an internal cochlea, it's not spiral-shaped like ours. The bird's cochlea is mostly straight. You can see what it looks like as the feathers are lifted, exposing what appears like a pale circle with a dark slot in the middle. Even though birds don't have external ear structures, they can still localize the sources of sounds, regardless of what direction those noises emanate from. Experts say that birds can use their entire oval-shaped noggins to determine the direction of incoming sounds. When the bird detects sounds coming from the same side of the ear, the sound waves reach the eardrum at a certain frequency. When the waves pass through the head and reach the eardrum at the other side, they're registered at a different frequency. So the differences in frequency allow the bird to determine where that the incoming sound is located above, below, or at the same level as the animal. The African bombardier beetle gets its name due to its rear end, which can function like a machine gun. To put things in greater clarity, this insect has a type of reaction chamber in its stomach. When threatened, chemicals are mixed in its belly that are released through its backside. The mixture results in a foul-smelling liquid that is fired repeatedly, and the creature can even pinpoint targets by aiming the nozzle. Researchers say that many beetles are known to secrete evil-smelling chemicals to deter predators, but the bombardier beetle takes the process to the next level. When the chemicals are mixed, the materials are simultaneously heated, and when the load is released, it shoots out like a boiling hot spray. It's so hot that the process causes an effect similar to that of a smoking gun. Experts say the insect's internal chamber is made of the same material as its exoskeleton, enabling it to withstand the toxic chemicals and boiling temperatures during explosions. 